Hi Taurus, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to your reading. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate for everyone. Okay, so for Taurus, please, in love. For Taurus, in love. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have, ooh, twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So there's a strong connection here, okay, that you have between you and someone else. So someone might want to find balance within this connection, okay, definitely a strong connection here. Okay, for Taurus, girl with a snake, empath, a narcissist. Being charmed or used enable boundaries. So someone here could have been dealing with someone who is very deceptive, okay? Even though this is a very strong connection, uh, someone felt used, okay? Felt manipulated, okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> For Taurus, please. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay, so that was, you know, there's going to be a shift because someone sees happiness with you. Okay, they want to be close to you. Okay, enjoying one another. Yeah, yeah, someone feels happy. They, they see happiness with you here. So there's going to be a shift or a change here, okay, in this connection for Taurus. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, or hovering. So, if you have been waiting for someone to reach out, okay, they will reach out. Or vice versa, okay, you might want to reach out, okay, to someone for Taurus, please. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So, a lot of love here. So, definitely... You know, there's someone here who's still in love with you, okay? And they want to see you. They want to talk to you. For Taurus, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, perception. So I was focused on you here, watching and stalking you, okay? See what you're up to secretly doing that, okay? So let's see for the tarot reading. For Taurus in love, please spare for Taurus in love. For Taurus in love. Okay. Ooh, six of wands, a victory. They might want victory with you. <clears throat> Ace of swords, beautiful. So open and honest communication, okay? So... Uh, who had this? A Virgo also had this, okay? So you might be dealing with a Virgo, but this is someone who doesn't want to lie to you anymore, okay? It's about having clarity, having truth, you know, about the truth, and it's like a new beginning where someone just, you know, wants to be honest now. Loyalty as well for Taurus, please. The death card, yeah, so there's definitely a change here. There was a shift, a change with, with a Scorpio, but this is definitely um, a card of change, of transformation, okay? So someone has changed here. They're not, they're not seeing things, you know, the same way as before. Why is the death card here? The strength card. So it took a lot of courage and strength, okay, to possibly do that, this transformation, this change. But this person, you know, did it. Could do with the Leo, but yeah. Because it's not easy, right? A lot of people have fear change. They don't like change. So maybe it wasn't easy for this person. They could have been stagnating for a long time for or for quite some time before actually making that change here. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? The Knight of Swords, yeah. So taking action. So after, and also to approach you, I feel, right? This is about someone rushing in and taking action towards you. So not just email, not just message. They actually want to take action towards you. They want to see you. They want to be close to you. It's, you know, about 
enjoying each other. So yeah. So if there's distance, they don't like to be at a distance from you. So after this transformation, this person is going to gain strength and courage. And they're just going to come towards you. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So for Taurus, the Six of Wands wanted to come out again because they want victory with you. Beautiful. Why is the Six of Wands? So whether or not you want the same thing with them, it's up to you. Why is the Six of Wands here? The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this could be you, okay? It could be your person, someone who wants victory with you. Masculine or feminine, doesn't matter, okay? G uh, tarot does not have gender. But, yeah, victory here in this connection. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? The star, they want to heal things. Yeah, they, you know, they... they they want to heal things. They're still wishing for you, hoping for you. So while there's, they're watching you, right, stalking, they're like hoping to be with you, dreaming about you. Could be with an Aquarius. For Taurus, please. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's that transformation. Things ended, you know, because of a betrayal possibly but someone here definitely is very hurt okay by this ending but endings bring new beginnings okay so it brings something better why is the ten of swords here the five of swords yeah someone sabotaged this connection okay someone definitely messed up here and create a lot of a lot of pain why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The Ten of Cups. So there, th this was a very beautiful connection, okay? Ten of Cups, happiness and wish fulfillment, but someone messed up here. Someone really made a big mistake, okay, with that Five of Swords. Yeah. So now they want to make amends with you and they want to heal things. They see happiness with you, okay? With that paradise card, they see that happiness. They still see it. They still want it. Happiness and wish fulfillment, okay? Yeah, this person is definitely thinking about this here, about what they, what they lost. So for Taurus, please, for Taurus... The Page Cup. So there's an apology here coming towards you, possibly because they messed up here. They're realizing, you know, that they did something wrong. They're possibly admitting their mistakes now. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. They could also tell you that they still love you, that they miss you, that they're thinking about you, okay? That they want to see you, that they want to be authentic now. They don't want to lie to you anymore. So there's definitely communication here, and then there's action, okay, towards you. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? The Six of Cups. Yeah, they want to ask you for a reconciliation. Six of Cups is the card of reconciliation because it's also, and it's also um, a soul connection. So a deep soul tie, okay, with that twin flame card that we had at the beginning. So strong soul connection here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this is definitely someone who wants to take action towards you, okay? He's a go-getter. He takes initiative. And, you know, I think someone wants to, you know, make amends here. Sort of like repair what, you know, what they did in the past and heal this as well. Heal this connection. So... For Taurus, please, for Taurus, the Page of Pentacles. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? But I feel this is like the communication. So, they might also tell you that they see the potential with you. They might also be working on their stability as well, okay? Before coming towards you. But there's, yeah, there's a lot of communication here coming between you two. If you want this, right? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles? The world. So, yeah, they might 
tell you that they want a new beginning here with you okay so they want to tell you that they miss you they still love you and that they want a new beginning okay so now there's this distance okay between you two but yeah they want to enter a new cycle with you they want definitely a new beginning why is the world card here why is the world card here the nine of swords oh they're very stressed out here very stressed out yeah there's a lot of guilt here a lot of guilt for messing up a lot of guilt remorse a lot of shame possibly okay they're definitely i mean yeah i mean this is like this person is watching you and they're heavily thinking about you here okay so this person is definitely stuck on on this connection of what happened between you two of how they messed up okay there's a lot of stress and anxiety here sleepless nights they just want to get to this new beginning with you get to this connection to this happiness again to this emotional fulfillment for taurus please for taurus the three of pentacles yeah they want for to work things out with you okay they want to find a compromise they want to find a solution they're very stressed out about this very very stressed out they're in their heads about this okay but they definitely want to work things out okay between you two they want to that you two meet each other halfway and find some sort of resolution here and heal this as well why is the three of pentacles here why is the three of pentacles here why is the three of pentacles here the justice card yeah so trying to find balance and also making things right yeah this person is right in their heads about this they really want to to make things right they want to work things out they want to repair the damage that you know possibly they caused so yeah making making things right here why is the justice card why is the justice card here the seven of pentacles so heavily thinking about this and how could they make things right it's about investing in this connection now okay about putting in effort okay so they're definitely here thinking about the potential of this connection and thinking about investing okay so if they were not investing in the past they want to invest now with that seven of pentacles and they're possibly going to tell you with that page of pentacles and then there's the you know more emotional communication with that page of cups so it's up to you taurus whether or not you still want this so i hope it resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading take care